Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another resin project. So today we are going to be doing little resin Christmas trees. So this mold actually came with four pieces, two of these large like evergreen kind of trees. Well, two evergreen trees, one big, one tiny, two of the pine. It's very, very bright in here today. So I hope you guys can see this. There's pictures in the tutorial if you need them. But basically you have two more straight kind of style trees and two swooshy trees. Swooshy is the technical term in case you were wondering. And these make adorable little Christmas trees. This is a fairly easy project. It's not 100% beginner level, you guys, because it is a deep pour. Technically, some deep pour resin would be best, but with your heat gun, you can use your regular resin. So this is just amazing clear cast resin. This is what I use for all my projects. So instead of ordering special resin just for these trees, I use the same resin I always use, and I pour it a little, heat it with my heat gun. Pour a little, heat it with my heat gun. Pour a little, heat it with my heat gun. And what that does is that pops all those air bubbles that tries to get trapped in all of these deep pockets. Trust me, I will show you. I did one with the heat gun and one without the heat gun and the one without the heat gun is like holes, holes everywhere. Your heat gun is your best friend. If you do resin with silicone molds like this, you need it. You need a heat gun. It's not even a question. So we are going to get started. As I said, you need your molds. You need some resin. I use Amazing Clearcast. You need a respirator and safety gloves because you guys do not want this on your skin. You do not want to breathe in the fumes. It's not good. Even if you work in a well-ventilated area, which I do highly, highly, highly suggest so that the fumes don't stick around or endanger your pets <laughs> or your other family members, you still need a respirator for yourself. Then you're going to need your colorant. So for these, I did white and I did kind of a hot pink that I don't have on hand. It's in the other room where I was working in a well-ventilated area. You're also going to need um, something to put these in because let's face it, they have the little cross beams on the bottom and yes, this can stand up. But if I fill it with resin, I need it to sit level and these fall over really easily. So what I ended up doing was getting a just a plastic tub. I put some little trash bags in it and then I could stick these down in the corners and the trash bags held them up perfectly level so they would not fall over. And I could easily transport this from my well ventilated area outside inside to cure without spilling. Also, how adorable are the tiny ones? Like, honestly, you guys. So, you do not have to do this if you're only if you're doing it in one area and you fully trust those little X beams. They're a lot sturdier on everything but the big evergreen. I would trust it pretty good on the little trees and even the pine tree. But we are gonna jump right in. We are gonna make some trees. I've made four so far, but I think I'm gonna make like a bunch more. So let's go ahead and make some trees.
night, y'all. The Christmas trees are done. So I tucked them into the little Lazy Susan on my Christmas tablescape. I have, as you can see, a couple larger mercury glass trees, but I wanted a whole forest and I needed little trees. And so instead of paying 12 to $20 for a bunch more little trees, I made my own and they turned out so cute. I definitely think I'm gonna make more of them. Like I want a forest, <laughs> but here has how they turned out. So here's the big evergreen and you guys like, look at those branches. That is just the glossiest, prettiest, resinest, resiniest branches ever. Now I'm going to show you how this looks, the difference. Now look, see, see those pretty branches with no bubbles? Now look at this one. Don't look at my face, look at the tree. All of those tips on the branches, all air bubbles. Every last one of those was an air bubble. So this is why a heat gun is like your ultimate best friend when you're doing resin, especially with deep pores like these. So with a heat gun is beautiful and without a heat gun looks like 85 million sharks took bites out of the branches. Maybe mosquitoes, it's a tiny tree. Either way, they turn out fabulous with my heat gun. I hope you guys liked this project. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. I will be back with more resin projects, more Cricut projects, more Christmas projects. If you guys want to see like a look at the actual tablescape, I have a video on that. I will see you in the next one. Bye.